We turn now to a story we've been following closely. The second officer involved shooting this month in Springfield. The city's public safety subcommittee scheduled to meet Monday to discuss police reform, and we wanted to know more about the planned discussions. Western Mass News reporter Briseida Landa Verde joins us now live in studio with more. Briseida. Yeah, well, Chris, I spoke with the chairman of public safety, Victor Davila, and he tells me Springfield Police Commissioner Cheryl Clapprud, as well as city council members, will attend the meeting to have an open conversation about the current state of the city's police department. Efforts are underway in Springfield to build stronger relationships between the police department and the community. My goal is to have the best police department in the country. In just a matter of weeks, on Thursday, state police say a 24-year-old male suspect was shot by an officer or officers after he shot at a Springfield police officer with a flare gun, causing an injury to the officer's hand. This is highly unusual in the city of Springfield. Chairman of Public Safety and City Councilor Victor Davila tells Western Mass News the first meeting of the Public Safety Subcommittee for this year will be held on Monday. Uh, we're going to have a global overview of the police department. We're going to be looking at what I call the current state of SPD. We're going to be talking about, we're going to be looking for information on an update on the police reforms. Chairman Davila says city council members will be in attendance, as well as Springfield Police Commissioner Cheryl Clapprud. First of all, we want to establish a good open line of communication between the po uh, police department and the public safety. However, he says they do not plan to discuss Thursday's officer-involved shooting. This is something that is ongoing. I highly feel that it is inappropriate for any, any elected official to be making uh, public comment and taking public stance on the issue until the full investigations have been thoroughly uh, vetted out. Meanwhile, we reached out to Commissioner Claproot, and she tells us we'll provide Councillor Davila and the Public Safety Committee with an overview and updates as we continue to modernize our police department. Many of the initiatives we undertake internally may not receive widespread coverage, so we think the committee will be pleased how our department continues to evolve, improve transparency, and increase accountability. Now again, police officials say the suspect in Thursday's incident fired a flare gun at the Springfield police officer. Tonight at 6, we're getting answers on the intended purpose of flare guns and how dangerous they can be when shot at another person. For now, live in studio, Bristol Alonda Verde, Western Mass News.